This Sky Surfer X9 is such an easy plane to fly, it's so smooth and uh, controllable. Uh, I thought it might be able to be flown as a three channel, which means uh, not using the ailerons, only using the rudder and the elevator. And for that you need turned up wing tips or a bit of dihedral, which this plane does have. Is it enough? Is the rudder big enough? We'll find out anyway. Uh, I have it on a switch, I can switch between aileron control or just rudder and elevator control. So um, let's give it a go. Uh, if the rudder isn't big enough, I can easily uh, transform it so we do have a bigger rudder. But we'll see how it flies anyway. So I'll start off in proper normal aileron control and then I'll switch over to rudder only. Get it up a little bit. Switching to just rudder control now. That is awesome. That's just using rudder and elevator now. This is just rudder, elevator and throttle. No ailerons. It's sort of mildly self-correcting. Right rudder, right rudder. Left rudder. Correct with a bit of... You do have to correct with a bit of opposite rudder. But look at this. That's fantastic. Three channel rudder is plenty big enough. Cruising around on about a third throttle there, nice and slowly. <laughs> How cool is this? That's working beautifully. Flying three channel. Hands off. Straight and level. Getting blown by the wind a bit. All right, come around. Bit of back elevator. Correct. Flying straight and level again. I bet the current draw is about one amp or something. It's just sipping power throttle off and a nice gentle landing so yes for super simplicity you could just tape up the ailerons not even bother plugging in the aileron servos and then you've just got plug-in wings like a Radian. It's, it is kind of like a mini Radian, mini pusher Radian. Uh, doesn't really need a bigger rudder, but to do that you could just cut the rudder across there and tape that bit there. I might just try that actually, see what effect it has. So I've taped the rudder to this top section here, and now I'm just going to cut across there. We have that top part of the rudder as well, adding quite a bit of area. Let's just fly it with that, see how that goes. Could even sort of flex these wings up a little bit too. When you fly, it'll turn even better and be even more self-correcting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's nice. Now, wow, what a beautiful plane. Alright, I think this is the best beginner's plane 
on the market. Cost is about 80, 79, 80 US on Banggood. What I would do is uh, strengthen this hinge with a bit of tape, a bit of blender and tape or something like that. Put a bit, a bit of a bigger gap here so it doesn't get caught on it. Uh, glue that on properly, maybe strengthen it up a bit. But uh, that's working very nicely. 14.